All right, in this video, we're going to set up our second cell, which is going to be the motion cell. So that's the one with the circle, triangle, oval, and then the slanted oval. So the first thing we need to do is go to the page and then go to the about, scroll on down until you see the cells. Again, if you have the 9.3 version of RoboGuide, then all you have to do is download the actual cell and everything is set up already for you or else you can go to cell setup, which is gonna have the CAD files and also pictures, everything you need in order to actually upload it. So let's click cell setup. And then we're going to download all these different files. So the main ones we're going to need is the circle groups. We do need the pictures to give us the numbers and exact positions of each of the objects. So we wanna download this entire folder and then put it into the same folder in which our file is going to be in. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to download all these. I'm going to put it on the desktop for now. And then we're going to move into the RoboGuide, set that up, and then we'll run through our different cells. So the cell, when it's going to be done, it's going to look something like this. So we're going to set up a LRMate 200ID7L. So it's a little bit bigger than the other robot for that we used in the first cell, uh, but still small enough that we can do a smaller footprint. All right, so I have the cell downloaded. I unzipped the file. Now I'm going to go to new cell. And we're going to be using Handling Pro. And let's call this what it is. cell pick your version and we're going to use just like before the pointer if you do not have the pointer here then just go to the CAD library and then go to pointers and then here is the pointer hit next and then we're going to find our robot which is the LR mate 200 ID 7 L I'm going to just go next through all these. And then give it the time to initialize. And we pause the video until it's initialized and then we'll come back and we'll start setting up the cell. All right, we're all initialized, the robot is in. Let's first set up the U tool. So going to the tool, U tool number one pointer. And let's make sure that matches the picture. So let's go to U tool tab. And it should say 180 here, just like the picture here, 180. Now, before we bring in everything, let's make sure that our CAD files are inside the actual cells. So if you don't know where the actual cells are being saved, just go to File, Save As, and then here's the link. So it's under Users, Your Name, Documents, My Cells. So I just copy and paste that into my folder. And then now I can find my motion group cell. And then here is all the files. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste those files that we downloaded from the Google Drive into this drive so that we have all the different files that are the material and objects inside this folder. So I'm going to copy this and then we we'll paste it inside this folder. Now we're going to start inserting our different files. So now we're going to start adding our different fixtures, which are going to be the actual CAD files. So we're going to go circle group 200, 220. And then I'm going to start adding these to our folder. So we're going to fixtures, right click, add fixture. We're going to go single CAD file. Go under your work cells where it says motion group cell. And then now you will have your different files. So we're going to find the ones that are the object files. So we're going to go circle object file open and then we're going to match all the numbers that we have on our picture so we have 450 400 90 and then 45 for our angle 450 negative 400 Z is going to be 0 W is going to be 90 and then R is going to be 45 Apply. And then I'm also going to turn the file red. 
apply, and then we're going to lock the location as well. So now we have our first template down. So let's move to our second template, which we will do as the oval group here. So let's go here, and we're going to go right click on fixtures, add fixtures, single CAD library. And then we're going to go down to oval group, 400, 220. And then it's going to be 0, negative 500, 0, 90 degrees, apply. So now it should be directly in line here. We're going to make this also red. Lock our proportion. Hit OK. So now that we have our oval, let's add our square. So our square here is 690 red as well. So let's go to our square. So right click on fixtures, add fixture, single CAD library, and find the square grouping. Change all the numbers so that they match. 600, 0, 0, 90, and 0, 0. So it should be directly up front. Change my color to red. Lock all proportions. Apply. So now we have our square. The next is going to be our triangle. So triangle is 450, 450, 90, and then negative 45. Let's add our triangle piece. So we're going to right click on fixtures, add fixtures, single CAD library. And then we're going to go down to triangle. And triangle is 450, 450, 0, 90 for the W, 0 for the P, and negative 45 for the R. Hit apply. Now we should see it on the right hand side. Let's make it red. And lock all proportions. And the last part is going to be the fixture on the right hand side which is going to be our oval piece and with the oval holder so here's the oval holder 550 90 is going to be our numbers right click on fixtures new fixture single cad library and we're going to have the oval holder And we're going to go 0, 550, 0, 90, and 0, 0. Hit apply. I want to make this yellow to match the actual cell. So we can also see the red really easily. Lock proportions. Hit apply. Now let's add the actual final oval onto our part. So the final oval group, here's the numbers. And let's match those numbers now. So we're going to go fixtures, add fixture, single CAD library. And we're going to go oval again, oval group. And here are the numbers we're going to match. We're going to have zero for the X. Six thirty seven point six seven for the Y, one oh two point three four for the Z, one thirty five and zero zero. Hit apply and it should be directly on top. Let's turn red for our color and lock proportions. Hit OK. And now we have our cell all set up. Last thing I do is just put my robot into our start or home position. So I'm going to just go to our teach pendant. I'm going to go to position and we can just do joint. And the only thing we're going to change is joint number five. We're going to go negative 
90 and now we're in our home position. Save the cell and you're all set to do all the tutorials.